right, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming up to the three-minute mark left on our timer. Hope you guys are sitting comfortably as we're about to start the pre-stream. Well, we'll start the actual stream, should I say, in just a couple of minutes. Hope you guys are sitting comfortably, and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the show and want to go ahead. I want to see some hashtags, guys. Come on, hashtag charging up. I want to see it. Let's spread some joy.
And with that, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's live stream is a go. The time is at zero, so it's time because we're fully charged. <laughs> Hopefully, anyway. <laughs> oh. Sorry, one second. Just have one little thing to do. Uh, <laughs> Paladin with a pizza. <laughs> no, not time for pizza. It is not time for pizza. It is time for a live stream. So anyway, let's get to this now. And our sound is just finishing. I'll just finish our sound up here and then we're good to go. There we go. Right, we're fully ready to go. Oh, oh shit, what happened to the... Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Test one, two, quick one, test two. Oh, okay, there we go. Right, so... What is up, guys? It's Brownie the No Charge Gamers, charging you with joy with Pokemon Ultra Sun. That's right, guys. We're back in the saddle once again for our next adventure. Hope you guys are sitting nice and comfortably for this one as we're going to get this show on the road. But first... Run a lotto! Yeah, I'll take the recovery one. <laughs> Wasn't quite what I was after, but I'll take it. Should be restored. That's okay. That's nice. All right. So last time, guys, I'll just do a quick save now, just so the sake of we got our save here. So last time, guys, we managed to progress our way through the Aether Paradise. We managed to come across the Hilego, and we managed to meet up with our next intrepid quest of our beloved rival here on our third island. And now we're on our way to tackle the next island trial that's right next up is electric but first we're gonna need um team assemble hey yo 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 hello sugo how you doing bud i'm doing good how go. you doing oh you know just here Hey, uh, where's have we got everyone else here? Uh, I don't know. So far, I'm the only one here. Huh. I guess so. And what the hell? What's happened to my? What's happened to my sound? Oh, there we go. Okay, sorry. Since the sound on my capture device ended up going screwy there. Whoops. Whoopsie. Yeah, that's not what we need. All right, but anyway, while we're waiting oh. on it. Who's here? I Hello! Dell! How you doing, girl? I'm doing all right, you. I'm a... if, if, one second, stop. Look at the camera. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> anyway, while Dell is busy sorting herself out, we need a team recap. So if you're brand new to our stream and you're watching us for the first time, here's, uh, our, okay. cur here's our current team. Our first member is Lucha the Halucha. Rocking it here with Brick Break, Home Claw, Flying Press, and Bounce. Halucha has come through numerous occasions. And so far, this beloved little luchadore is just an adore. Oh. <laughs> I don't care. That joke was bad. I'm sorry. Dragon, dragon, anyway, dragon. <laughs> <Our ne Yeah! laughs> okay, rabbit. Our next, our next member is Lunchable the Snorlax, who's currently rocking it here with Yawn, Body Slam, Rest, and Giga Impact. A small off-screen note: I managed to look up where Snor Liam Z is, so now Snorlax has his Z crystal. Oh boy! Fear the giant ball of lard. Oh boy! <laughs> Next up, we've got Sneaker the Sal uh, the Salazzle. Sorry, I need to get used to calling her Salazzle now. Currently rocking it with Toxic, Nasty Plot, Leech Life, and Flame Burst. I did a little off screen here, and as you can see, I managed to decide to give her the Fire EMZ. So now our beloved Salaz uh, Salazal is a force. Salazal. Thank you. Is our beloved force to be reckoned with? Speaking of force. Next up is our special force here. It's Wishful the Espeon. Currently rocking it with Woo! Morning Sun, Swift, Psybeam, and Psychic. Nice. It learned Psychic as I was training her up, uh, him up ready for tonight's session. So I hope you guys are 
Hopefully we're going to curb stomp this. Next up, we've got Charger the Ampharos, currently rocking with Thunder Wave, Charge Beam, Confuse Ray, and it learned Power Gem during some off-screen travel. So Charger has a little bit of variety to him. Uh, Thunder Punch is no more, because I realized that, you know, we've got a special attacker, not a physical. Understandable. Yeah. And finally, our last member is Popstar the Primarino, currently rocking it with Icy Wind. Hyper voice during some off screen tra training, sparkling aria, and disarming voice. Aria. Aria, aria, potato, potato. It's pronounced aria. Kazuntai. <laughs> what do I know? Anyway, I actually did something a little bit smart during my last adventure, because as I did some training, I cleared the route. <laughs> You cleared the route without us? Yes, I know. Chris! How could you? Just so you know, nothing important. Aww. Although, one thing that should be noticed is, uh, this is an area where you get some nasty little sneak attacks from trees. Of course. Like so. For example, a Fero Gasp. Le Gasp? Oh no, a Pharaoh, whatever shall I do? I know, there's only one thing to do with this scenario. Run I away! You... Run away! <laughs> uh, Chris, what? I was going to say you could give it a little zop a day zop zop With Lucha? Touche. <laughs> anyway, so now we're going on our... Speaking of zap, why you're right? Oh, speaking of zap while you're on it, Shugo, that's exactly where we're going. We're going to the electric trial. We're going to the electric trial. Boo -doo 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 -doo. But of course, we got to deal with Team Numskull again. Oh, joy. <laughs> Hello, Sonic Hanna. Welcome to the chat. What? You ain't... Ne what? You never see somebody take a bus stop to go before? <laughs> right, yo, you tree to steal our bus stop? Best go find your own, you heard. Oh no, I'm so- oh yeah, let's take- take away our bus stop. Oh no, public transport is a mess. Oh no, whatever will we do? <laughs> oh no, hey, take a look at that statue. Not doing anything. Away from the hole, which is only three feet in front of us. Isn't the excitement too much to take? Meh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Houndower, by the way. I don't want to... I don't want to take on a Houndower, for Christ's sake. Houndower is one of my favorite fire types. Aww. Aww. Poor Chrissy. You were Team Numskull. What about Growlithe? Wait, 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 wait. I thought Growlithe was your favorite. Growlithe is one of my favorites, but I love Houndoom, to be honest. Houndoom is one of my personal favorites. Yeah. I never said I didn't like Hound Growlithe, for the record. I just have preference. Hey, yo, when I fight, I'm not supposed to lose, yo. Hey, Hannah's using a halucha as well. Huzzah! Fighting <laughs> fire with fire, huh? Seems so. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You gotta do two battles in a row. <laughs> Typical. By the way, how's everyone doing, by the way? Everyone doing good? I, I'm doing good. Very good, very I'm good. Doing good. Also, I'd like to point out just one thing just before we carry on. I'd like to point out that tomorrow we'll have our brand new series carrying onwards. We've got MMM tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. M M M M M M. Someone fix Stella. I think she's on repeat. Hannah's given us a warning that this is tough. Oh well. Uh, oh boy, I wonder what could be ahead of us. Zap, zap, zap. Anyway, now we're up against the Golbat. Golbats are really annoying, not because of the fact they aren't strong, but because of what they normally are. Fast, and I like to inflict a nice bit of status on you. Paralysis? Uh, no, not paralysis. Confusion. Oh... And it was going for Confuse Ray! Halucha, bounce! Halucha! <laughs> hey, got the paralysis on a gold bat! We just won the game! <laughs> Woo! Wait, did we? Uh, well, it feels like that. Anyway, flying press. Use dark types for Team Skull. I don't have one! I could have used Meowth for it, but I know it. 
there. Alright, well done, Lucha. That was well done. I don't know if you care, but that bus stop weighs about as much as a golem. <laughs> Matt, how do you know? Have you tried to lift up a golem? That thing probably weighs a ton, I'm willing to bet. Or, yep. It's a bus stop. What's the dangerous part of a bus stop? I never guessed that. Anyway, now that we took care of that, Kukui's come to say hi. Hi, Kukui. Also, I look back over our old streams. We are way behind schedule. Oh, but, oh boy, how are you way behind schedule? Uh, We were at this point on part five. We're on part eight. Ah. Uh. Yeah, we're way behind. Wait, what's going on? Some Team Skull Punks just ran past me going in the other direction. Yeah. I sure wish they challenged the league instead of getting up to no good on the league. League? That stupid idea again? <laughs> the, the league? The league. The, the league. The Pokemon League. But first things first, we're gonna head up Mount Hakolani. Ako, ako, ako. Hello. What? Hello, and welcome to Mount Waka 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 I know what I said. <laughs> you know what you said, and you said what you meant. Uh, in English, please? We're going up a mountain. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so now we're going our way to the uh, ele electric trial. Now, from what I gather, you have to take the bus to get up here the first time. But once, you, once you're up here, you can come up here at your own leisure. And this area is known for one thing for a lot of people. It's the home of Ditto. <laughs> and Hannah's going for say for ground types for this trial. Yep, because we're up against electric. We need a nice beloved ground type. Unfortunately, I didn't think that far ahead. Chris, you is a dumb bucket. I ain't no dumb bucket. Wait, check it out, Brownie. You see that steep, jutting, majestic peak right over there? No. <laughs> what is it? That's ma ma that's Mount Ladakila, the highest peak of Alola. Alola! You guys didn't do it back. I thought that was our trend now. Oh, Alola! Thank you. Alola! Yeah, it's a sacred spot, yeah? The closest you could ever get to the legendary Pokemon of Alola. Alola! Alola! Yeah, uh, well, uh, said to be the spot. Alola! <laughs> Let me deal with the stick, not you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, right there, on the peak of Lanakila. <laughs> Paladin shoe goes the dumb bucket. <laughs> hey! Meh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, hold up, shoe. Are you even in the oh, chat? Oh, oh, Dell, you gave us some bits. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Hey, Dell has taken our beloved uh, top spot. She's tied on top bits. Thank you. Okay, yeah, thank question. You. What are bits? That is a very good question. They are essentially like a weird part of currency that most people use on Twitch to support their favorite YouTubers. It's essentially a way of sponsoring them in some sense without paying money, so to speak. Huh. But you have to pay money to get bits. Oh, yeah, buddy. I just, I just spent seven. I just spent seven dollars getting five hundred bits. Oh. And I only. Yeah, and I only had enough for this little 100-bit cheer. Hey! <laughs> I appreciate that. Anyway, that's on the peak of Lanakila, that's where I establish our Pokemon League. <laughs> Brownie and Dell have no objection. Shoe goes a dumb bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I hold up, hold up, hold up. No, 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 no. Let's do this the proper way. Let this, let's let this decide it. Do what Wait. decide it? I'm well, scared hold. what you're doing. <laughs> well, hold. Mm, if it will do something. <laughs> I've always valued our old traditions here in Alola. Alola! 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 Time to make a champion the whole world will recognize because we don't have one yet. It's time to mm. get our own Elite Four and make our own Pokemon League with Blackjack and Hookers. You know what? Forget the Blackjack. Uh, can't wait to battle you when you get your Pokemon to level 60. 
<laughs> Appar- apparently my internet died, so it didn't work. Uh, mm-hmm. No, it, it went through, Del. If you're on about your dumb bucket remark, yeah, it actually said, fuck you, dumb bucket, Shugo. <laughs> hey! Oh, wow. So I think that's the way the kid is. <laughs> Sorry. And we have our own champion. <laughs> so what is well, this? Well, pick on the squirrel day? What's so different? I, 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 it wasn't me. I didn't choose. I did the, the, the bot did. <laughs> he made me do it. That's, That's what, what they I all say. say. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I thought it didn't go through. I thought it didn't go through because I got the welcome to the chat room thing again. Yes, that is true. That is true. Anyway, we're going to go right into here because we need our Pokemon Center here. Uh, no, we don't need to know about your stupid advice, Rotom. Your blinking eyes. That's all we care about. Hannah says get revised. I think I'm fine. Don't worry. I appreciate the concern. I did play the, ori- I did play the original Pokemon Sun. So I have been doing my work. My computer froze. Well, all I got to oh. say is... Welcome, welcome, welcome to the island of Wanakita Alona! Ah, 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 ah. Are you trying my stick? Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Del, you said you, you said it, you said it froze for you? Yeah, my computer, fr- yeah, my computer completely froze. I'm resetting my computer right now. Aw, that stinks. Don't you just hate it when that happens? Yeah, that does happen. Uh, now, anyway. Okay. One thing just I'm also expect Yeah, sorry. I'm also expecting a pizza, so if I so if I disappear, you'll know why. Fair enough. All right. So I'm actually going to do something a little bit smart. I'm actually going to teach Lunchable Bulldoze. Bulldoze? Bulldoze is a very is a ground type move that what happens is when it connects with its opponent, their opponent will drop a speed stat, meaning you have the more likely chance to go first. No. So it has a chance of slowing them down. Pretty, uh, it, de- it makes them slower anytime it hits. Now, personally, I don't like getting rid of rest on a Snorlax because it do prove to be very helpful. You give that, give it a Chesto Berry. When you use rest, you recover the full hit points and you go straight out the sleep status back to full health. Isn't that, isn't that lovely? Mm. Yes. Mm. Cause oh goody, my Alunium P36 Explosive Space Modulator. Hello, Marvin the Martian. <laughs> oh, hello there. C- hello there, Earth Girl. Tell me, have <laughs> you seen a specimen I can take back to Mars? Mm? <laughs> um, no. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> you make me very angry. <laughs> very angry indeed. <laughs> Wait, uh, uh, hey Marvin, ain't that rabbit taken off with your explosive space modulator? That creature has stolen the space modulator. That creature has stolen my modulator. Oh, delays, delays. (laughs) (laughs) I'd say I do a good job of that voice. Anyway, if you you come back down here, TM72, you get Volt Switch, a very nice electric move that works like U-Turn. Uh, Paladin says for Marvin to get out the booth. No, I like it here. <laughs> get out on the first shot. We found. Imagine that. We found a ditto off the bat. Yay! It was it? What was it disguised as? Uh, actually, it wasn't disguised as anything. It's a wild ditto. Oh, it's a what? Wild Ditto. I thought you were gonna look. I thought you found one of the Ditto Five. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Now I do already have two of them already. By the way, this area is also infamous because it has one of the, what's known as the Pusueda Legends. The and what? here it. And here it uh, is. Um, there actually, is. actually, Chris, it's pronounced Pseudo Legends. Oh, thank you. But yes, we found this one. It's Beldum. All right, Beldo? Lunchable, Lunchable, you're net. Nap time. Go on, nap time, Beldum. Nap time. Oh, there's one thing I forgot about a Beldum, and I hate it. What's that? Beldum has only one move like a Snarl, with like a, like a Magic Carp, or like a couple of other Pokemon. Too bad Beldum's one is riskier. It's takedown. Oh. Meaning if you don't catch it, it will knock itself out. 
That's awesome. bad. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Paladin. I almost forgot. So, Ditto does have a hidden ability where it can come into battle and instantly transform without wasting a turn. Which is very nice. Oh. Now, get so in. I see. Now, get in. Okay. Get on. Uh, okay. I, okay. My, okay. My computer has life again. Huzzah. Now, Hannah mentioned in the chat to use a great ball. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, can we inform our viewers what I'm doing? Okay, hold up, hold up. Let me let me put that in a hashtag. Hashtag. Uh oh. I. Wait, what's going on? Oop. Yeah. So basically, Hannah says for me to use a great ball. I'm not using a great ball because we all know what I'm doing, ladies and gentlemen. Pokeball oh. challenge. <laughs> We're going to try and catch everything in this in Pokeballs, and yes. That does include the legendaries. Hashtag Topococo Pokeball. Yeah, let's not remind let's not remind our viewers about that one. Or rather the ones who don't know. So we did the original uh we did the original Pokemon Sun about a year ago. And uh what we're doing Well done! Stay in the ball! <laughs> this is proving to be quite a hassle! Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball, please. I would like a Metagross. Thank you very much. Metagross. Meta. I swear Metagross in the anime actually is a uh, is voiced by Dan Green. <laughs> Meta. Really? That's what I'm guessing. Oh, it sounds like it. Hey! And yes, I'm being, I'm being told I should probably do something. Yeah, I know. There's one problem though, my Snorlax is quite a bit high level, more than this Beldum, so I'd rather not risk anything. Now, Met now Beldum does have an ability that makes it very, very useful, called Clear Body. <coughs> what Clear Body does is, Clear Body is a special ability that it is immune to stat reductions. So stuff like Growl, Bulldoze. Uh, it will not take any status reduction effects. So Bulldoze will still do damage, but it just won't lower its speed. Come on, Beldum. Good Beldum. Good Beldum! Bel Beldum is a dum-dum. Got it! All right! Who's Call it dum-dum. <laughs> Call it dum-dum. Well, you realize by Metagross, it's not going to be anything when you, th when you consider Metagross' Pokedex entry. But anyway, here is... Beldum, who's actually one of my very favorite steel types. Yes, Paladin as well. Intimidate as well. That works as well. Uh, Sticky Web too. Anyway, let's Dumb go through. Wells. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so we've got Beldum, the Iron Ball Pokemon. Instead of blood, magnetism flows through its body. When it's feeling bad, try giving in a magnet. Aww. Oh, because Why? We are, well, because it'll be charged with joy. Yay! <laughs> wait, what? wait, how does a magnet charge it? Uh, because the one thing you should know. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, Kotlo said that. Onsho Izezuka is the only one who shows up. Uh, no English voice actor. Really? Because I don't think its Japanese name is Metagross. Anyway, uh, I'm actually going to call this thing... Uh, what? I had an idea in mind for it. I know, oh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to call you USB. USB? The reason I say that is because Beldum, when it evolves into Metagross, it has the ability to be stronger than su to the four supercomputers. Uh, oh. You know, that's, you know, that's the thing about... You know, that's the thing. There's a thing about Beldum that I've kind of noticed. <coughs> What's that? It's like, well, it kind of look. Doesn't it kind of look like Matang's hands? That's a funny thing you should mention that because Matang is actually. Uh, oh no, Metagross is his Japanese name. Oh, okay, fair enough. That's cool. Well, anyway, you were saying. Yeah. So the reason I say that is because Beldum. Uh, two Beldums come together to make Matang. Oh really? Oh really? That's so cool. So it's kind of like the Magnemite and the, the and the and the Kling scenario. Exactly. Yes. Or even you could even go 
Digla and Dunk Trio. And let's all sing along now. Digla dig, digla dig. Trio, trio, trio. Digla dig, digla dig. Trio, trio, trio. Thank you, everybody. You're all done great. You can all have a cookie once this stream is done. I want a cookie. Is it chocolate? Is it chocolate? That was delicious. I said you'd have it when it's done. Sugo, you're banned from the cookie jar. Are they chocolate chip cookies? Ah, yes, they are. Yay. Hold on. Oh, I want them even more. Uh, uh, hold, uh, hold on, guys. I'm hearing something. It might be my pizza. Oh. I'll be back. <laughs> Wait, hey, pizza. hey, come back! But I want to get my pizza. Okay, fine. <laughs> pizza, anyway, pizza. so this is Maloyne. I forgot about this guy. He runs the observatory here and also manages PC boxes. But he's, uh, but he's not Hukalani's captain. Oh. But I was the captain once, my masked friend. Oh, it's Bonnie, right? Thanks for coming all the way up Hukalani to visit us. Our Captain Sophocles is a rather busy young man, I'm afraid. Always calculating Comet's Pass or updating that Festival Plaza thingy of his. Gee, that won't be important later. Hmm. If you want to be I here, wonder what it could do. With right here and now. Yeah, I think he's even stronger than we were at this point of our time. Yeah, really? One more thing, cousin. The name's Kakui. Who's this masked royal you're talking about? Nah, no one special. <laughs> Just think about that favor I asked you. Yeah, Maloin, I want you to seriously consider it. I guess I should head back to Mali Garden. Even how should be done eating Malasadas by now. So he makes it up here. Oh, Del's back. Nah, yeah, I'm back. No, no pizza yet. <laughs> You know, I just uh, I just thought of a name that you could have uh, named Matang. What's that? Hassle. Why could I go really just because of how much we were having trouble catching it? That way you could go. I'm the king of the hassle, and you're a dead pile. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh and he just Z. gave and he just gave a Steelium Z, which I generally think is one of the easiest Z move poses to ever do. How come they don't show? How come they don't show you the pose? Well, they do show you it in this one, actually. They give you that, though. Oh, really? It's it's weird. That's pretty cool. No, it's uh, it's all right. It's just this was weird. Normally, he battles you at this point. You actually battle the guy to go in. Huh? Changing the state. Oh, guess it. I guess it's. Di I guess they thought. I guess it's different. Maybe. Well. But at least they teach. But at least they teach you the Z move in this. That's true. I guess it's time to feed you guys. Hey, how many charger bugs does it take to charge a light bulb? None. I don't know, but there's eight of them here. Uh, oh, hello! I see a sticker. Hello, sticker. Let's see. And there's a charger bug behind. And there's a charger bug behind the desk. <laughs> no. None, because the Vicky Vold charges the light bulb. To say. Uh, Hannah says nine. How many does it take to charge a light bulb? Nine. Wait, wait. Charge a bug? How do you charge a bug? Oh, uh, Frank's hosting us, by the way. Thank you, Frank. Thanks for joining us. Oh, sweet! Hey, I almost hey, forgot about this! We could go to Hey Hey Beach. We could get another ton of Pokemon! No. And to answer your question, Shu, I don't know. <laughs> Never enough, damn blah blah blah. <laughs> and the joke goes right over your head. Nah, I just chose not to listen. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> All right. Okay, Sophocles, I'm ready for you. Sophocles. Yeah. All right. You're getting close to your goal. I imagine you must have come here to attempt the. T Whoa, Sophocles going Sophocles. He didn't even turn around. Sticker! 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 Oh, great. I feel like I'm playing Paper Mario again. <laughs> what, are you playing Paper Mario Sticker Star? <laughs> uh, Milan said... Oh, there he yeah, is. Here. I see you totem. Uh, <laughs> yes, there's a charger bug of real glutens, you know. The charger bug helped me out with my trial, so can you get them all for me? Wait. Uh, I'm gonna have to get Toga de Maru's help, too. This will be my first time testing it. Togedemaru? Yeah, you you know what Togedemaru is, right, Shugo? 
Yeah, it's the porcupine Pokemon. Yeah. Or the, the or the hedgehog. Yeah, yeah. The the steel and electric type. They bet. Yeah. Watch out! It's it's a Zatabog chas. <laughs> a Zatabog chas. Uh, huh? Oh, Togodemaru. Wait, where the hell have they gone? Yoo hoo! Wap it! Where'd you go? Not in here. You know what? You know, I'll bet the I'll bet the to I'll bet the totem is either a Togodemaru or a Magnazone. You're you're tempted to say so. You're, so you're tempted to go different already. Well, well, mm. all the well, some of the well, some of the other tri, tri, totem. Well, the, well, the other totem Pokemon were di Well, some of the other totem Pokemon were different. I'm not expecting this one to be any different. Well, that's mm -hmm. true. Mm. You so know, that... I'm actually tempted to agree with you concerning. He said something like uh, when he's. Oh wait, what is the magnitude of a star that's ten times brighter than? A oh wait, planet? oh wait, hold. Oh wait, hold up. Am I thinking too soon? Too soon, because was it usually the totem puck? Was it usually so was it Sophocles when you get the totem Pokemon, or was it someone else? You mean for the electric gym? Oh yeah, oh yeah. For oh wait, there are totem Pokemon for every for every tri trial, aren't there? Pretty much. Hey. Ah, sorry, sorry, ah, sorry. I'm not thinking straight, but anyway. Oh. Thank you, Anna. I just figured that out. Sorry. Huh? One, two, three, four, five. Six. But 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 anyway, what were you gonna say before I got confused? Uh, it's all right. well, what I was going to say was I'm tempted to actually say that, uh, that I'm actually tempted to agree with you that might be Toga Damaru, but as I say, I, I have no clue, but then again, I don't want to jump the gun because for all I know, it could be something we haven't found yet. So let's see, the only missing right. should be still be eaten in that empty lot by the bus station. There are three charger bugs missing. Oh, yeah. goody. Huh, again, don't. Is this your trial, or is there, or is it still the quiz, quiz game? Uh, like what know. quiz? No idea. Uh, hello, I thought it was a quiz, right? I think so. The electric trial was a quiz, right? Yeah, it was. It was essentially uh, you were given a, you were given questions. If you chose the correct answer, you fought you fought a Pokemon and you carried on. If you got the wrong answer, you get Sophocles zapped and you have to answer it again. Right. Charge you find all the ch Oh, seems like se se what kind of name is that? Seven Jabug is missing. It always wanders off to strange places. Hmm? Oh, we called the nine Charger Bug by their nicknames. One Charger Bug all the way to nine Charger Bug. That's a Shugo nickname. <laughs> what? Never mind. Oh, what oh the Pokemon there it goes. Did? Bitty bitty, it's on the bus. Did it, did it, it's on the bus. Oh, that, that was... Oh, so that's your way of having the game to pay attention, is oh, it? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Running off in the distance. Hello, Charger Bug. Oh, sorry. Seven Jabug. Jabug. Seven Jabug. Seven Jabug. Jug bug bug. All right. Okay. Well, I guess it's trial time. Oh, here we go. You got those Charger Bug quickly. I knew there was something special about you. Oh, I'm sure there would be. That's the room where we have the trial. Oh, the room that we were going quite closely to. All right, so switching off the security system, and in go the charger bug. Oh, that's the doorbell. Go, oh, get, back, guys. go get your pizza. Thank you. <laughs> pizza, uh, wait, Toka Damaru, come back! Well, I guess I'm now going to do a trial. Okay. So, because this is the electric trial, do not use any flying or water types unless you are desperate. All right. Oh, hello. This looks different. One Jabug, two Jabug, and three Jabug are all on board the roller. We should be ready for them to lend us their electricity. Eh, Sophie? A, a puzzle? Oh, uh, the last one was a puzzle, too. Uh, to oh, Togodemaru Togo and Charger Bug get along very well. We use Togodemaru's ability, Lightning Rod, to absorb any sudden charges from Charger Bug so you, we don't get zapped. Oh, by the way, we gave Togodemaru a nickname. Togamaru. You just got rid of two letters! Let's do this! You really? Okay, let me explain how the trial works. Okay! 
What's a trial? Let's see, okay. First, you need to connect the charger bugs that are on the roller. Okay. We use the electricity from the charger bug to power up the machine. That should let us call the totem Pokemon. Okay, so it's that logic again, but it's this time. Use the four buttons on the edges of the roller to... Oh, no. What? Do I take the panels? Oh, no. It's a sliding puzzle! You've got to line the charger bug in the correct way. As long as they're connected in a line. We connect the charger... Okay, so we have to do a sliding puzzle. Okay, here we go! Trial! Start! Alright, so... We have to figure out what to do here. Okay. Alright. Huh! Nice and easy for the first one! Well, that wasn't uh, as difficult uh, as... Welcome back. I am back. I am back. Zap. Welcome back. I've come back with food. Hey, welcome back with food. Oh, okay, okay so... What, what, okay, what I miss? Well, we're just starting the electric trial, and it's no longer a quiz. It's a sliding puzzle. A sliding puzzle? Really? Yep. The pig is getting closer. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, you still got this, but... An Elekid! And, uh, uh... Let's go, Lunchable! Okay, Elekid, for those who don't know, is the pre-evolved form of Electabuzz, the equivalent to a magma. Thank God I taught Lunchable this! Uh-oh. They, they messed up my pizza. They messed up your pizza? I asked for a ham pizza, and they gave me a cheese pizza. Sad face. Aww. Sad face. That is sad. I am they've sad. My, they've never messed up my order this badly before. I feel your pain. I've had that happen to people who've messed up my orders too, and it is not fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, I'm not. Cotlow hmm? says we can't shock Sophocles anymore. Oh, and Theon blah blah, uh, blah, blah uh, says that they hate messing up the order as well. Oh. But typically, I forgot to add something to it. Ah. Ah. In fairness, they... I actually did order a pizza one time. They completely screwed over one of my orders once. Uh, what happened was I ordered a uh, ham, pepperoni, and a barbecue-based pizza. It's kind of the one I normally get from my local pizza shop. Uh, instead of ham, they gave me peppered ham. And uh, their peppered ham is spicy. Oh, so you got a spicy pizza. Yes, I did! So I essentially took a bite out of it. I was like, oh, this is actually a bit... Because <laughs> I can't handle spicy food. Well, I guess it's a... I guess it got turned into a pepper-only pizza. You're disowned. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's try this again. So, uh, next... Did the spicy ham make me use flamethrower? Yes, it did! Hey! Wow! You know, this, this puzzle is actually not as difficult as I thought. So, oh, my my B day is coming in 26 days. Happy birthday, Hannah. Oh, happy birthday! Hey, happy birthday. All right, let's charge up the robotic Vicar Vault. Hmm. I wonder what the totem Pokemon is going to be this time. No idea. But wait, hold on. We came across Elekid. There could be a possibility. It could be Electabuzz or Electivire. Uh-oh. Oh! Huh? Well, I heard that cry! It's Electabuzz! Uh-oh. It's not the totem Pokemon, though. It's just a normal Electabuzz. Which means... Oh, no. Please don't be Electivire! I don't want to face Electivire! Oh, oh, Lunchable! Good boy! Bulldoze! Also known as Death Wish! <laughs> Way to go! <laughs> I love Electabuzz's fate animation! Just falls down flat on its face! Oh! Oh, happy very early birthday, Sonic, 
Sonic Hannah? Yep, just saw that. Eh? The more Pokemon are trash. Yeah. If that's the case. Hey, I'm getting on topic, uh, guys, guys, if I may. Mm -hmm. Getting on topic regarding the pizza thing. To those who like eating pizza, what is your favorite kind of pizza? Well, I'm sure well, Goku could answer that one. Stop, crust! <laughs> God dang it. Oh, okay. Is that Team Four Star reference? Yes, it is. Uh, wait, so what do I... Why do I have to connect this? Uh, it's diagonal. Are you sure? Well, they look like they're diagonal. I guess so. Okay, well, I screwed that up then. Okay, so... Oh, you might be getting it. <laughs> I'm getting warmer. No, you're not. You'll be stone dead in a minute. Okay, there we go. Okay, yes, it was diagonal. Okay. Hey, thanks for the help on that one. I generally lost that. Uh, For me, as I say... <coughs> My usual favorite, ham, pepperoni, and a barbecue base. That's what I like to have. Ooh, ha nice. Ham and, ah, no ham and no sauce for me. Okay. Um, my, my favorites would be cheese, pepperoni, and meat lovers. That's a good one. We got another one here. We got Hannah saying cheese lover. Uh, Frank says pepperoni and sausage, Hawaiian classic, and white cheese, as well as buffalo wing. Ooh. Nice. I'll take bread. I'll take breadsticks. Really depends on the pizza pizza place, though. I'll take. I'll take. I'll take. <laughs> I'll take the rapists for one hundred, Alex. That's therapists. <laughs> uh, the cables are looking a little unstable. I hope it doesn't cause a problem. Well, Z. Uh, hi, Beckham. What the? What the hell? The charger bug will get blasted with electricity if we don't do something. Wait, Toka Tomaru! No, Toka Tomaru's absorbing the hits. Oh, but the current's too strong. There's no way Toka Tomaru's electric. No, they can't. Wait, are we gonna see a death? Toka Tomaru. Toka Tomaru, no. Huh? Wait. Into a totem? No! There's another one! And it looks annoyed! Boss fights! Okay, oh, so it's Toga Demaru! Okay, what have you got for a buff? I called it! Defense buffed! Wait, defense! Bulldoze is gonna do less damage! And you're level oh, 33. Oh, that is an angry looking totem Pokemon. That is indeed. All right, so. That is one angry looking hedgehog. It is indeed. Shadow the Hedgehog called. Okay, so I could go straight for it, but as an LP, I have to. Wait, it's faster than us? Uh oh. If I knew, I actually thought we'd get first strike. That's why I didn't do it. Okay, it's going for an ally. Who's its ally? Gomery! Wait, are we doing electrical steel here? Wait, I just realized. Wow. Wait, I just realized. Scarberry's a flying type. We can't hit it with bulldoze. What? Uh oh. Well, that's not good. But, but why is Scarberry though? Mm. I, I don't get it. Anyway, uh, hold up, no, hold up. no, we got tricked. We got duped. What? No, the damn it, no! Oh, great, okay. Well, Toga Mario used a move called Spiky Shield. What Spiky Shield does is if you connect with a physical attack, it bounces the damage back at you. Oh. Plus it protects and, uh, well, now the Toga is fast asleep. Use fire, I've got Salazzle, but no, I'm relying on Lunchable. Oh, wait. Clever game. Scarberry what? used Torment. Torment is a move that if you use on an opponent, 
You can't use the same move twice in a row! Which means we can't use Bulldoze to knock out Togodomaru! Clever boy. Well... Hmm. Well, you got other moves that can and that can hit him what? hard. Stealth Rock. Jeez. Hey, remember uh, Stealth I'm Rock, ladies and gentlemen? Okay. Uh, okay, we got that. Launchable. Try the bulldoze again. At least we could at least lower Togodomaru's speed. Launchable. Oh, and there's the steel wing. That's what I was waiting for. I got bulldozed! That did nothing! I was bulldozed today! <laughs> well, crap. <coughs> That's okay. Oh, yeah, we can't torment again. Oh, yeah. This is not a good day for Launchable. No, nah, not really. Okay, plan B. We're gonna try to paralyze the. Okay. By the way, even after lowering its B stat. Launchable is still smaller. I might have to Z-move. I'm going to body slam Skarmory. Let's see if we can get the paralysis. Come on. No paralysis. Okay. Couldn't you just switch out Launchable and the torment effects would go away? Yes, technically I could. I could. But I said to myself, I try to make the game harder by not doing some switches and things. Besides, if you're playing online, you don't get a much of a free chance on this. And uh, Zing Zap! Ouch! That hurt! Okay, so Togodomaru Zing Zap. That's essentially Togodomaru's signature attack. Uh, if I remember, I think... I know there's a jurisdiction about Zing Zap, but I can't remember for the life of me what it is. Okay, uh, let's try Bulldoze again, so we can try to lower some more speed. And he went for the spiky... Oh, wait. I see the trick! What's the trick? Okay, so the way that their Pokemon is working in this is the following. Togodomaru no Spiky Shield. What happens then is it uses Spiky Shield to protect itself, but Skarmory has Torment up. What happens is Togodomaru blocks against your ground type with Spiky Shield. The Torment forces you to go for another move, which means you're not doing a ground type move. Which means Togodomaru can smack you. And then it predicts going for the ground type again, and the circle repeats itself. And for the switch, Skarmory knows Stealth Rock to do damage back at who you bring out to combat the torment. <sighs> Clever. Who knew a Togodomaru would be so annoying? Right. Not to mention such a tactician. <laughs> Ouch! Okay. That's, uh, I'll BRB, guys. All right. And out! Launchable! No dying! No dying here! We're yawning Togo tomorrow again. Okay. Okay. We're not dead yet. We're not dead. We're not dead. We're not dead. Launchable's still alive. Come on, boy. I got every bit of faith in you. Come on, everyone. I want to see some hashtags in the chat. Hashtag charged up. Let's see them. Good Launchable. Here's a... Uh-oh. Zing zap. Zap it. Zap zap. You stop. Stop it. Now stop it! Okay, Togodomaru's asleep again. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use Bulldoze one more time just to be safe uh, for one more turn. Plus, I wanna make sure Togodomaru is not faster in case the worst does happen to Lunchable. The, pr the, mm -hmm. problem, is, yeah, the problem is, no matter what, Lunchable can't hit Skarmory for too much. Okay. A stat reduction again. That's fine. It had a berry! Ah! Oh, you are driving me... Right! Fine! We're gonna have to Z-move! I really didn't want to do it, because they're both steel types. Okay, good lunch of ball, and you woke up. He went for spiky Why shield. Why didn't you use fiery on Z? Well, I could switch... But we've got stealth, but they've got stealth rock up now. So if I bring out Salazzle, Salazzle's gonna take a big hit. How big of a hit are we talking about? I thought, I thought the the traps did only did a little bit of damage. They do, but they work like a rock type move. What is fire weak to? Rock move. Ground. 
A ground and rock move, so if we bring it out, we're gonna take a quarter of damage. Uh. Okay. Four uh, hours late. Oh, it's not gonna last that long. So. Fine! Z move! Let's do it! Has anyone ever seen Snorlax's Z move? No. Well, you're about to see it. Oh. We're faster than it! Okay! Oh, well, we just made it. We made Togedemaru slower than Scar Marie. No, it flinched us! Ah. Okay. Oh, thanks to Rotom, we can use the Z-Move again! Woo! We have another shot! Woo! And it went for Spiky Shield instead! Oh, you are... You know, maybe I should have used it on you. Okay! Come on, let's do this! Let's up all! <laughs> pancake. Ooh, yep, wake up, you not wake up, fat boy. So for this move to work, you need to have Snorlax with Giga Impact, pulverizing pancake. Boom, boom. Hey, Toga Navaru, <laughs> up, back, uh -oh. down. That did, that did nothing. Oh my God. <laughs> that. That did nothing! It, it, did, asleep, it generally it did- I'm not sleeping anymore! It generally Flap! did- Flap! Generally did nothing. Now what? The problem is... Oh boy. Maybe it's because of the shield. Maybe it's because yeah. of the shield. That shouldn't have happened. Why? Why? Okay, Why I'm gonna have to do it. Lunchable, get back! Let's go, Charger! Okay, wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 uses has lightning rod, the lightning rod ability. What are you doing? There we go! Yes! That's what, what I wanted it to do! What happened is they're doing the physical moves. That I just paralyzed the Skarmory! Yay. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get the paralysis on that annoying little pest. But, Charger! Power Gem! Come on. Okay. Come on, Charger. Take those hits. Take them like a champ. Tailwind! Uh-oh. God damn it, their speed has just doubled! Oh my <laughs> god, how is this... This is not. This. Uh, wait, uh, doesn't that what doesn't that raise the speed of flying types though? No, tail tailwind actually goes straight for uh, doubling their speed. And Skarmory's down. Thank goodness. Right. Tell me you don't have another ally. He had another ally. Is it another Skarmory? It's a Dedenne. Dedene? Dedene! That's an electric and fairy type! Looky there, it's a mousy! Squeaky, squeaky the mousy! Uh, so it's mouse types, so it's mouse Pokemon versus mouse Pokemon. Okay. Totems don't run out. They do run out! They do run out! I know they do! Fine, Charger! Oh no! What? Dene knows charm. Charm? If it uses it, the physical attack stat of the opponent goes down. In other words... Ah. In other words, Bulldoze is gonna do crap damage. Get rid of Dene then. Get rid of the Togedemaru. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. Okay. Ah, son of... Well, it's all right. Damn it! Okay, Tailwind's down. Right, gonna, gonna confuse that Togedemaru first, just so we at least have a chance. Super Fang! Uh oh. You what? Uh, when did a Dedene become a threat? Wait, uh, wait, 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 how did it get? Uh oh. Ow! That. Doesn't hurt! Okay, you know what? Charger! You 
gonna have to take one for the team on mm -hmm. this one. It's like, you know, this is actually reminding me a lot of the camera of the of the camera from the stadium from Pokemon Stadium. Yep. Well, Apatarisa became the world champ. Yeah, I forgot about that one. <laughs> yeah. Apatarisu. <laughs> yes. I don't see Apatarisu. No. Apatarisu became part of a world champion's team. Oh, really? Okay, Charger. Wait, like on wait, 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 like online battle? Uh, Cotlong, could you fill in on that one? I'm confused. How a gem? Okay, come on. Are you really going to risk char Charger's life yeah. like this? Charger, you're alive! Yay! Someone used it as a setup and they won the final tournament. Nice. Right. Charger, knock out the... Oh, wait, using Super Fang on... I never thought I'd see... Oh my god, I generally thought I was dead! Power Gem to Dene! Okay, Dedene's down. When are you gonna when are you gonna use healing? Shit! <sighs> Fuck. You can do it. I uh, pretty much the Pokemon Company hosted the world tournament and they won't I kid you not. Oh, right. Okay. Lunchable! Get back out here! We're finishing this together! Kaylin is missing out on something epic here! I know for once. Okay! Wait! The Z-Move is back up again! We can use it twice! Woo! It stacks. It stacks. Okay, lunch- Okay, lunchable! Right, okay, you're still faster than us, that's fine. Lunchable- Oh, fuck you. Okay, uh... Okay, oh, Togedemaru's going straight for the physical offense! Okay. So, yawn on there. We got ourselves a setup. That's what I Kenley wanted to do. Lunchable. Lower that speed. Yep. Ah, damn it. There's the spiky shield. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You've done what I wanted you to do. Nap time! I never thought I'd see. Okay, bulldoze again. Bulldoze again. This time you can't stop me! Lunchable! Yay, 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 yay! Okay. One more speed down. I think we try this again. Z move. I never thought I'd say that twice. <sighs> and we're faster than it now. Finally. Okay. A Titan's wrath is all it takes to make an impact on the world. Launchable. Go. Launchable is. Polarizing! The best meal! Pancake! Ah, Yup! Off the top Boom. rope! By Togedemaru! Polarizing pancake! Boom, and boop, boop. it's down! That would just sound adorable. That would just sound hilarious, honestly. <sighs> oh my god! Wait! <gasps> Did it! Phew! Oh my gosh, Kate, Caitlin, if you ever get around to watching this, know that Ampharos just nearly kicked, just kicked some serious tail, tail back there. <sighs> and that, and that Snorlax finished it off. Yep. The totem Pokemon is really something else, and that means you're one heck of a trainer to have beaten the totem. <laughs> Curious though, what is that aura that the totem Pokemon surround themselves with? We don't know anymore! Are they not around anymore? No, it's more like our um, more like our friends aren't online. Uh, you can type it, Hannah, if you want. Precious friends. Aww. You got that right, Sophie. Finding things that you notice, even little things, and improving on them. That's how science works. Come to think about it, that's how Pokemon battles work, too. Yeah, I learned my error. Here, Brownie. A Electrium Z to reward for beating the totem. If you wanna... All right! <laughs> and get! I got Electrium Z! Trial completed! Woohoo! Pizza bar! Oh, wait, now I'm not um, doing it properly. I got this crystal! Snorlax. 
<laughs> and then Snorlax proceeds to lay down on top of you and take a nap. <laughs> Fuck! And... <laughs> Z-move! Sophocles with the Z-pose. Congratulations on clearing your trial. And Sophocles did well as a captain, too. Fuck you. Fire truck! <laughs> Fire truck crew! Hello, Maria. Welcome! Maybe Hello! Even if you are my cousin. Sophocles is Mulan's cousin? Huh, go fig. Even wasn't little... it mentioned in the part wasn't it mentioned in the regular game? I think it was. I can't remember. Invite him to check out the battle agency! The battle agency! Oh! Okay, so Hannah's got Incineroar, Dust Lycanroc, Zorak, Neuven, Halucha, and a Florges. Nice team. It's quite diverse. Your kids have a good time. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to. Believe it. Oh, shit! Whoa! Oh, dude, the battle agency's in the... It's in the battle plaza? Okay, so for those who don't know how the battle agency works, here's how it works. It's essentially a rental battle simulator. You get three Pokemon given to you, and you, essentially, you choose one of the three Pokemon, and then you ask about trainers to join your team. You then do a three-on-three -three battle and but most wins. Let's see. Uh, Theon Blah Blah has a Tucanon, Sarana, Magnazone, Milotic, Incineroar, and a Halucha. Everyone's using Halucha! And we... Uh, I think we lost Del. Fuck. Wait, do I have to try this now? Oh, okay. Thank God. I didn't have to do it. Okay, I was worried if I do it now. My Palkakui seems to have forgotten this. Oh, the professor's mask. <laughs> Gee, that's not a hint. All right. Yeah, we'll battle sometime, Sophocles. Just not now. Screw you and your trial and everything about you. Oh, boy, that was immense. Can we get a hashtag charged up, ladies and gentlemen? That was a battle. Mm -hmm. How on earth did we do it? I don't know how we did that, and I thought we were safe. That Skarmory was the ba biggest pain. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Welcome back, Del. Welcome yeah, back, yeah, Del. I don't know what happened there. <sighs> okay. I can officially say that that was definitely a lot harder than the Vicar Vault challenge from the original game. Mm-hmm. And I had to point out that Skarmory was the biggest pain in the ass. Yeah, yes. Seems like we have two runner-ups for for the MVP. Yeah, so far, so far. In fact, it's yep. hard to say at the moment because Lunchable did a good job to start things up. Both elements. Yeah, but there. but Emperor, but Emperor has hung in there. He tapped, they did, they tapped it out. That is true. That is true. All right. Well, let's go far. Oh God! I almost forgot. It's your boy coming up. Oh boy. boy. All right, uh, let's see. Wishful's a bad idea for this. Actually, you know what? Let's keep, uh, oh, I appreciate it, Hannah, but I kind of want to do this blind. I mean, that's what I'm doing, but I know nothing about what's ahead. If it's anything like the original game, I've got a panopsis, but I want to do this blind. And if I, I'm double checking my thing here. Huh, okay, fair enough. Anyway, yo, 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 hold up, yo, Mr. Kakui. You say you want to make a Pokemon leak? You got rocks in your skull? <laughs> Four turns. <laughs> huh? Bring it on, the both of you. I've been researching Pokemon moves, yeah, so I'm always ready. Oh, yeah! I'll take you both on in a battle royale, and you'll be down with just a swift and incinerate. Or two. You gotta beat the man. To be the man, boys. Wow, Kakui with a, with a roasting. <laughs> Yo, for real? Yeah, yeah f fine. You asked for it. <laughs> oh, I love this scene. I love it because Kakui proves he's not just a professor who's out for doing all the future things. He is a professor who will generally get down and down and dirty to actually kick ass. Yay. Battle Royale, huh? Nice idea there, Kakui. You could beat down three Pokemon at once, huh? Here it comes. It's your boy. Ha! Lunchable Snorlax is out to become a meme now. Only on this stream. Probably. It's Kuzma. The boss has greased us with his presence. Oh, Hello. I gotta do that voice, haven't I? 
<laughs> yeah, you do. <sighs> yes. The hated boss will beat you down and beat you down and never lets up. Yeah, big bad Guzma is here, yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Use dark type. Use dark type with bot. Hello, he's a bug user. You don't use dark with bug. It, it's your boy Guzma. <laughs> Greetings, cowering public. We have an exciting bout for you tonight. In the opposing corner, the Pokemon Professor Kakui. And in this corner, the boss of Team Skull and the hardest guy around, Guzma. Guzma, yo. I'm trying to get back to my flow, yo. Here we are, Kakui. Fellow rejects who never could become captains. We got all these moldy old traditions in the Lola, the Kahunas, the captains. It's about time we cut out of that silly garbage and make something new for ourselves. Trust me, I get that. Don't get me wrong, though, Kakui. We got no need for a Pokemon League. After all, everyone already knows who the strongest trainer is on these islands. Speak for yourself, <laughs> Guzma. It's not like I couldn't become <laughs> captain. I chose not to. I had other dreams, see? Yep, rock and fire and flying. So yeah, Halucha's on standby, but I want to use Lunchable. I kind of want to try... I want to get used to using Snorlax in the team. That's sort of why I'm trying it here. Plus... You sure, you sure it's not to make him the MVP? Maybe because the fact Lucha's already had MVP three times. I want someone no. else to get it. Even Charger no. doesn't have it, so I might diverse a bit there. <laughs> I wanted to figure out which moves would be strong enough to beat old Hala. And I finally found what I was looking for. The strongest moves you can use are the one. God damn it, I should have had my Lucas head. Ugh. Oh. Sleep time, nap time. <laughs> who Guzmo? Who came up with these silly names? I don't know. I kind of like the name. Uh, the strong... Oh, uh, yeah. Choose together in the heat of the moment when it really counts. That's when I knew I had to make a Pokemon League, yeah? To give everyone a chance to be pushed <laughs> to the limit with their team and find that special perfect move. Let's see it, Guzma. Show me your moves. Snorlax is good, so no complaints with your logic. Yeah, Snorlax is good, yeah. He's a bulky boy. Hashtag bulky boy. Bulky boy. If you really can, that is. Right, Brownie? Don't you agree? Uh, no, wait, wait, what? <laughs> wait, no, me a moves. Uh, what? <laughs> so you're one of the kids on... Yeah, I was waiting for it. That's why I stopped. <laughs> so you're one of the kids on this island challenge? You don't look like you're from around here. This is Brownie. He just moved to Alola. Alola! Recently. Alola! Discovery. New experiences. Adventure. He's loving every minute of it. Yes! The unspelled bookie boy right! He spelled it, boy! That's your boy! <laughs> That's Brownie your boy! And his, Brownie and his Snorlax can unleash a real powerful move. Who wants to pulverize Pancake, one of his Pokemon? Squash it like a bug! Oh, wait. <laughs> this move fanatic's getting me all riled up. Hmm? You got a Z Power Ring, huh, kid? Why even bother with this island challenge? What's the point of it? Uh, well, that's what I want to find out. <laughs> I love Guzma when he does the eh. <laughs> you don't even know why you're doing it. Watch closely, <laughs> Kui. Someday I'm gonna destroy you, but first I'll destroy everything you care about. Here comes the line. <laughs> you wanna see what destruction looks like? Here it is in human form. It's your boy, Guzma. Woo! It's your boy. Give it up for the hardcore leader of Team Skull, yo. Give it up for the yo-yo of the yo-yos. It's Guzma. <laughs> the yo-yo of the yo-yos? He's just that yo-yo, bo-yo. Okay, now he leads off with one of the best bugs there is around. Golisopod. And boy, does Golisopod hit hard. Golisopod is essentially a giant physical, t a physical boy who can do a lot of damage to you. And he's known for that first attack, first impression. And I hate it. And there it is! Ouch! That didn't hurt! So I'll just body slam you instead. Had we paralyzed it! <laughs> go, boy, go! Why do I even bulldoze? I don't even bulldoze anymore. Now, there's one thing that's really annoying about a Golisopod. And it's, what? His, and it's his ability. Emergency escape. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Wait, that's not an area dose! It's Wait, a... what? Wait, he has a different Pokemon now? Yeah, it's a masquerade! 
And it just lowered our and it just lowered our physical attack. Lunchables. Wait, why? Wait, wait, hold up. Why does he have a masquerade? That doesn't make sense. What? Uh, uh, bug. Ow. Well, well, I know that, but why a masquerade Yeet. specifically? Yeah, I know. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, the critical, the intimidate didn't matter. Ha 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 ha! Go Lunchable. Whoosh. How is that intimidate? It's the wings. It's essentially like a trick like what a butterfly or a moth does when they have that really pretty pattern on its wings. They do it to try to scare off its predators. I see. There you go. Well, it tricked me, but it didn't work. And now, how do we do this, I wonder? Z move, anyone? <laughs> Maybe. It was going for first impression and the paralysis stopped it. Woo! All right, the beast of the earth shall rise again. Let's make an impact with the world itself. Snorlax, boom, boom. let's do this. Pulverizing, pancake, pancake time. Oh yeah, can't do that. <laughs> there it goes, look out in the sky. Here comes oh, the Snorlax, oh, here comes can, up. Oh, now do this. <laughs> Pancakes. <laughs> Galissapod is now Galisso, not here anymore. And Lunchable! <laughs> this, this isn't the usual one. Golden Bounty is... Pulverizing Pancake. Yeah, that works. I ah, see. Great work, I guess. Oh no, we just beat him. We know what's coming up. <laughs> yes, yes. Everyone, you know what to say if you know the game. <clears throat> mm hmm Gozma! Gozma! What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I missed that line! <laughs> I missed... This is... <laughs> Now's the time for your vaunted team to let loose and destroy everything! It was Brownie, right? I'll remember you. As someone, I'll be happy to beat you down any time. Shit. Oh. Huh? Wait, so, wait, what? Gus was speaking with how? Wait, what? So you're how, huh? Wait, Guzma with how? And you're Guzma. So? You know, you don't have to do this island challenge thing just because your granddad's a kahuna. Even if you finish, you might not get what you want. Did they ever talk? No, they never talked in the original. That's weird. Wow. <laughs> Those were some nice moves. I can feel my soul shaking. Plus the ground from that overwhelming Z move. Jeez, it's like a thousand pound heavyweight just jumped in the air 50 feet and slumped on something. Boom. Hey, it was like, hey, buddy. Boom. <laughs> Out on the rage, off in the sky, flat like a pancake. It's Snorlax time. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Snorlax time. <laughs> Stop. Snorlax time! Da, 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 Pulverize a pancake! <laughs> okay, now All God right. dang it. And ladies and gentlemen, this is what I was waiting for! The Z Crystal for Poplio! Primarinium Z! So where we had, so where we had, um, where our last playthrough of Sun, where we had Incineroar, with obviously, uh, that lovely move it finished off with. Now we've got Primarina's one. Good God, I have completely... Uh, about that mask you got there, Brownie. Yeah, Milan gave you that, yeah? I'll take it if you don't mind. I can make sure it gets back to the mask royal. Say fan sound. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh! Oh, sorry. You saw that too, huh? Uh, uh yeah, I did. That was an awesome battle, Brownie. Maybe someday Guzma will figure out what it is you kids learn on the island challenge. So what happened to Lily? You guys lose her somewhere? I'm right here. Oh, hi, Lily. Hey, oh, sorry. I got, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume we're not doing voice acting. Well, we can try. We'll try one and see what we get. So, uh, share screen. Uh, uh, okay. Hey, guys. Pro strats. I'm right here. And so is Acerola. I gotta do Acerola. 
You and the professor fought those horrible team skull thugs, Brownie? Just thinking about it makes me worry. Can we just say that Del does awesome for Lily? Meow. No. Guys, let us know let us know what you think of Dell's voice acting for Lily. Does it suit the character? Do you think it works a different than what you expected? Let us know what you think in the comments, guys. Uh no, uh, no, 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 no. I think it would sound better if I wasn't using my phone. <laughs> you sound like a scary group. <laughs> you think? I don't know. Exchanging a few moves in battles is the quickest way to get to know someone in my book. Well, I'm gonna head up Mount Lanakila. I gotta make sure the Pokemon League gets finished and everybody has the chance to find their own perfect move. Hey, Dan Blah Blah says that was a good voice, Del. <laughs> Thanks. Hannah says make sure you get Mimikyu. I get I get the feeling Mimikyu is not going to be the totem Pokemon for the ghost for the ghost trial. Shen <laughs> I'm still scared that Mimikyu looks at you with those big beady black eyes question mark? It could be a sand. It could be a. It could be a sandy guest, <gasps> or its evolution. Uh, Palisand. Palisand, uh, yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, Ace Roll is the the ghost leader. I'm sorry about that. Brownie, how? Be sure you're not pushing yourself too hard. Mhm. Mm can I, can I be Ace Rolla here? Go for it if you want to have some fun. Brownie, he made it through Sophocles' trial, huh? That's really great! You can take on the next trial up past Route, route 11. Through Tapu Village, you know? If you get lost in your way, ask a police officer for directions. They're here to serve, right? <laughs> now, Lily, you're coming with me to do some shopping! <laughs> <laughs> and they're off. And, wow, nothing for Shugo the voice act. <laughs> Go ahead, Shugo. You, you can at least have this, Shugo. It? For God's sake, Squirrel Boy! Howie. <laughs> <laughs> you got how? Oh, right. Uh, let me... Oh, right. You remember what my Gramp... You remember what my Gramps told us? He said we'd meet Pokemon and people on our journey that would enrich our lives, yeah? I mean, I'm having a good time on my journey for sure, but maybe that's not enough. Oh. Uh -huh. uh Okay, you can stop sharing screen here. Okay. So what's up with how? Is as Guzma's words actually affected him? Ooh, that's new. That is, because that wasn't in the last game. Can we just say Lunchable's doing amazing so far? I'll be honest. <laughs> I didn't use the Z move in practice. The first time I used that Z move was actually during the electric trial. Wow, really? Yeah. I only saw that briefly on things before. All it right. was amazing. It was indeed. All right. Lunchable can have a break. Uh, let's see. Let's give Wishful a chance to shine for a little bit. Yeah. Frank says, I wonder if Brownie ever did a female voice. Dell's voice acting is amazing. Aw, thank you, Frank. <laughs> Truth I is think you Two is we normally have Caitlyn do the voice of Acerola, so Del did incredibly well for doing both there. By the way, small heads up, I also cleared this route going onwards as well. Brownie, what is wrong with you? Uh, I thought ahead. By the way, Del, I found one of your favorite Pokemon here. Pikachu? Is that a Pikachu? No. Oh wait, is it Stuffle? Not quite, more like the other one. Which, uh, which other one? There, is... Beware. Beware. <laughs> beware. 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 Is that a be is it a beware? <gasps> oh my gosh! Whoa. I want to hug it. <laughs> Careful, it'll hug you to death! <laughs> no! So, you can't come this way until you've done the electric trial, which is annoying because I know exactly what's in the area up ahead. And it's what I've been waiting for since I've known it was in this game. And I really... Okay, I know you're here. You're her... Oh! Oh, the rocky terrain. Oh, which means... Oh! Hapu! Ha Hapu! Uh, by the way, guys, small heads up. How did the video come through for you guys uh, when you were watching it? Did it come through quite quickly for you guys on the stream? Ghost Trial's coming. 
Yes, and everyone here who saw me do sun knows what happened when I did sun. The mini cube. Yeah. Remember how scared we got? Yeah. Yeah, that scared of. Greetings, Brownie. Oh, yeah, I forgot your. Greetings, Brownie. Uh, oh, hi, Mark. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll let you have a look down so you can see. Sorry, we'll try it again here. Yeah. Well, Matt, I was seeking you. If you're going to travel about Ula Ula, you ought to do it while astride of Mudsdale. There's no call for hesitation, considering my thanks for Akala Island. And we get our giant horse, my little pony! <laughs> my little brownie! <laughs> huh? <laughs> I not to register her for you when we met one another in Mali. I was just so taken aback by Lily and how lovely she was that it escaped me. <laughs> by no means was I just waiting for a time when you were in trouble. <laughs> yep. Hey. <laughs> hey guys, I just thought of something. What? I know what Chris's signature move would be. Go on. Pulverizing Golden Brody Pancake! That's a Dr. Tadell's joke. Uh, well played. Let me pose a question. Do you know the Ultra Recon Squad? I keep running into them. They seem to be here to investigate some ill that weighs heavily upon them. Mm. Luckily, it is quite in keeping with the people in Pokemon of Alola to help those in need. If you seek the next trial, go straight on through here to Tapu Village. I'll be cheering for you on your island challenge. Thanks, Hapu! Bye, Hapu! <laughs> All right! Friends went, uh, well, looks like we've got... Some people who experience buff buffering and the frames going down. Right. Okay. So. Uh -oh. But they still knew what was going on. Yeah. Okay. So we might have to we might have to work on that for the future bits. I personally think it would be brownie bash up. <laughs> All right. So let's ride on Mudsdale. So Mudsdale is similar to like a Taurus, as you can technically ride it. The downside is not as fast and doesn't have a dash. I don't think anyway. Oh, it does have a dash. I must forgot it does. All right, and... Right. Uh, oh, wait, yeah. Oh, gotta... yeah, yeah, how was my Hapu voice? It was nice. Thanks. Well, as much as possible. I appreciate that, my friend. All right, now, I know you're here. Come on out wherever you are. I know you're here. No, not the donkey. We don't want mud, Bray. Although, if we do catch this one, it can technically evolve. So, might be useful for a ground type later. But I know it's here. And I know <laughs> it's very well here. Come on out wherever you are. I know you're here. That's not what I but, was looking for! <laughs> what does a mud does a mudbray evolve again? Mudbray evolves into Mudsdale. Ah, uh, all right. A donkey evolving into a horse. That just seems odd. Mudsdale that makes it look like I can walk? Take me to Alola! <laughs> Nope. That's kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of awkward knowing that a donkey evolves into a horse. And Kotlo went for the obvious one of donkey! Yeah, insert Shrek jokes yeah. here. <laughs> Harold, Shrek, Fiona, Fiona, Mom, Harold. Harold, donkey! <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, uh, I also, so, as I tried to mention before, tomorrow we are starting our Monday, our massive Monday Multiplayer. Torkoal! Oh god, we found Torkoal! Anyone remember Torkoal from the anime? Torkoal! <laughs> well, well, I only remember Torkoal from the Destiny Deoxys movie, so... Well, to well, Torkoal was known for doing one thing. When something went well or it was touched, it cried. <laughs> Aww. It cries like crazy. It's like, Torkoal! Torkoal! All right, Aww. and Hannah is taking on the Elite Four. Ooh, good luck, Ooh. Hannah. Uh, nice, nice. Uh, oh my God! Wow, it survived Espeon. Wait, hold up. Wait, 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 hold up. It's nighttime. If it's you, how is there sunlight? Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, but help didn't come. I feel 
like there should be something in the game where it won't allow you to use sunny day if it's nighttime. So what? Because you then can't, it's so what? You can't use hail unless there's so. So are you saying that us using hail in Alola is not possible? Uh, <laughs> no, I mean like if you were trying to use sunny day or something, and it was nighttime, then you wouldn't then. You wouldn't be able to use it because it's technically not daytime. That is true. Ow! Ever, ever heard of an, uh, hello? Ever heard of an artificial sun? <laughs> Talk Just all you, you dumbwit! <laughs> yes, you please. Know, anyway. you, you know, I just wonder, have, have moves like Sunny Day, Rain, rain Dance, ha the one that brings hail and such, have you they mean ever hail? been used in the anime? Uh, yeah. ironically enough, I think the only weather moves I have seen in the anime, whether the other ones have or don't have as well, I don't know, but there has been Rain Dance and Sandstorm. I can't remember off the top of my head if Hail or uh, Sunny Day have been used in the anime. Anyway, we just got Torkoal. Yay! And Blah Blah just mentioned that the rays from the moon shine super bright instead of the sun appearing. That works too. Anyway, we got ourselves <laughs> a Torkoal. It's the cold Pokemon. You can tell how it's feeling by the smoke sprouting from its shell. Tremendous velocity is a sign of good health. So it's always polluting. So it's always polluting the sky. Pretty much. But ironically, that's not what I'm looking for. What? What? Are, what are you looking for then? Those who played this game will know about something. In fact, you guys already should know what it is because it was the very first Pokemon we came across when we started this episode. Pikachu? No. Toucan Doom! Oh, wait, no. That's what Toucanic. I was looking for because our first battle Pokemon we found was Houndour. This is what I was looking for. Houndoom. Oh boy! There's one problem with Houndoom, though. It's a dark what? type. And Espeon is a psychic type. Oh yeah, one hit KO. Well, not one hit KO, just super effective on us. Okay, well, he used Oda Sleuth. That's a great idea. Now, wishful Pokeball. Let's do this. Come on, uh, Cerberus. Uh, oh my gosh! You know what? Oh my gosh! A Houndoom's a girl. Oh, I didn't realize that. First ball! Cerberus is back! <laughs> Woo! I love having Cerberus. Cerberus was actually, if I, ironically enough, Mega Houndoom was actually one of my fa uh, signature types when I played X, uh, when I played through, um, what the hell, was it Ruby and Sapphire? Mega. Can't remember. Oh no, sorry. Uh, Houndoom was actually in my team when I did uh, Diamond and Pearl. Right. He's my boy. I love Houndoom. Houndoom is so amazing if you get it right. All right, yeah. so let's have Houndoom, the dark Pokemon. Wow, I thought it'd be a lot better. Are you going to breed that Houndoom to get a baby Hounder? Houndoom? Yeah, I'll be doing that for Pokédex things. But anyway, uh, let's carry on here. So Houndoom, the dark Pokemon. They spoof flames mixed with poison to finish off their opponents. They divvy up their prey evenly among the members of their pack. Aw. She should be wow. named Caitlin. Kate... <laughs> she should be named Caitlin for her hard-headed attitude. Nice. Should I? Hmm, I don't know. What do you think? Well, we've had Delancey the fur through. Hmm. Why not? Why not? I'm going to be dead on the next episode. <laughs> Shugo, you keep quiet about this. So what have we got? Nice! We got the right stat up! Yes! Woohoo! Caitlin Shugo, has... Are you still there? Yes. Special attack up, special defense down. It's not as great, but the special attack stat is what I wanted to see. Houndoom can be a mixed and special attack <laughs> is where he mostly thrives. Uh, but I'm not happy about the ability, though. It's got early burn instead of flash fire, which is annoying, but... Still works. Well, well, uh, 
Well, Caitlin's, well, Caitlin has something to brag about now. Yep, being the right nurture. And I wrote, and as I said, that was what I was looking for the entire time. If you get Bayonet, I'll trade. Uh, for what? <laughs> I don't know what I'm at. Whoa, I almost forgot about you guys. All right, and Wishful surprisingly survived that. Okay, well, let's give Wishful and Sneaker a chance to shine in the battle this time. So far, everyone shined except for Primarina. Uh, so, but, curious fact, has anyone actually seen, uh, Primarina's Z-move? Uh, I think I may have seen, I've it, seen it once. Fair enough. It, it may have been a while. Fair enough. Okay, well, let's get rid of Waterium Z and give it Primarinium Z. So, in case anyone wonders, Primarinium Z is only used if Primarina has Sparkling Aria. If you do not have that move, the Z-move is useless. Never know. Yeah, Tian's right. <sighs> the weather's too nice in Alola, so you want to get rowdy, right? Yep, I would be really happy, actually. In fact, I actually wouldn't mind if Alola was real. I know there's Hawaii before anyone gets technical with me here. <laughs> but I'm saying you here... Would, you, wish Poke you, ju you just wish Pokemon were real. Yes, I would. Hey, hey, look, we got ourselves a Pansam and a Crock Rock. I love. Oh wait, I just realized we. Oh, I oh no, we're actually good. We're actually good. Not a hundred percent, but. Oh no, Crocorock just used intimidate on my special attackers. Smart. You got. It's so weird seeing you battle with the gear on, with the ride gear on. Yeah, that's true. By the way, Sneaker has a Z move. Was. What's that? Well, well, for the record, by the way, first Wishful takes out Pancham. One hit. Uh, who does uh, all the stuff? All right, here we go. Salazzle? Sneaker? Let's do this. The fire within my soul shall burn bright for this world. Now, engulf their spirit to ash. Sneaker? Inferno Overdrive. Now, burn. <laughs> Hmm. Carlos says, "Ooh, oh, Bird Keeper Toby has a video series of Pokemon you don't want to, you don't want, want would not be real." Yeah, <laughs> I wish Pokemon, but that would be crazy. Yeah, I do know there are some Pokemon that would be very dangerous to have in real life. Well, I got, well, I got that, but still, it would be cool. I just realized what one of the name of the people in this was. What? Uh, I'll tell, I'll tell you after the stream. Oh, yeet. It was yo it was Yoko, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Her faces. I'm hope yeah. Fun fact, if you didn't guess it, they actually have the same poses as the team Skullgrunts. They do. <laughs> Hello, Houndoom! Version two. <laughs> oh please don't be male. Please don't be male. No, oh, you're female. Wow. <laughs> Normally, I would have found a male one by uh, by some point. Norm Every time I found a hound dude before, it was always a male. Well, now the girls want their chance to shine. That's true. Girl power! Ah, the surfer! So, hashtag. Okay. All right, so let's see if we can clear this up here. So, uh, oh, whoa, dude, we got a surfer, dude. <laughs> Delve, goddamn you. <laughs> hey, it's Remoraid, a Pokemon that I generally had a lot of trouble catching when I played Gold and Silver. They are really annoying to find. Uh, eesh, that surfer's that surfer is just cr just cringy to me. I don't know why. Because it's so stereotypical. May maybe I don't know. Ooh, a Sandy Gast. Okay, Primarina, you can have some time to shine. Yeah, Jigglypuff would be a living nightmare. <laughs> wait, hold because, on. Wait, because sing? <laughs> wait, we have to... Wait, you mean falling asleep to a singer who just babbles on and with their own name so many times? Mm, I think Exhibit did that first. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> who wants to see a Z-move? No, 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 no. All right, Popstar. I do. Let's do this. Cute. A true diva stage is no matter the scene. 
Show them a performance hey, that's truly a knockout! Oceanic Operetta! He is fabulous! Technically, it's a he, so yes, it does work. I love how we moved the giant spirit bomb <laughs> over the. Oh my god! It's Sandy Gast! Goodbye! <laughs> bye bye. Yep. A bravo performance from Primarina. Sandy Gast, how was that? <laughs> oh, uh, it was a knockout performance. Oh, <laughs> Oh, nice. Nice. All right. Now, if you... Come... A... Yeah, sorry. If... Yeah, it's sorry all right. if I may say... It's all right. So coming over here, by the way, you get Blush Mountain. Blush Mountain is a very unique place for those who generally enjoy looking for uh, rock and uh, types. And plus, if you want to get yourself a toga tomorrow, that's where you'll find one. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Also, if Pokemon were a musical, I'll bet that pre... I'll bet Primarina would be one of the main main Pokemon. Yeah, that's true. I could see that. Oh, no! They nearly went running into a surfer there. Why is there a surfer out all the way out here? Uh, yes. <laughs> There's no uh, ocean. I just realized that Wishful is actually now the same level as our starter. This is this is something that cannot happen. This shall not be amused. Alright, also I realized we're coming up to the desert area. So we're actually going to have to deal with... Uh, I'd like to get myself a decent ground type in the background. Hello, how? What we got? Brownie. What we got? Phew, that Toga Damaru was strong. But I managed to get uh, through the Chatu. That, yeah. was a, that was a swimmer, not a surfer. Yeah, I realized when I said it, I thought... Nah, maybe it will be ignored. There was an episode in the Orange Islands anime that was sort of a play. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. The uh, the lovely play that had a romance between a Clefable and a Hitmonchan. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, my gosh. I think I remember that episode. Wait, what'd you got for us, Hal? Hey, a Max Potion. That's nice. Uh. Oh, Gladian. You only have one volume, don't you? Haven't you ever heard the expression that silence is golden? Hey, Shugo, you still with us, bro? Shugo! I'm still here. Hey, still here. Uh, Distracted You've been good. You've been... Yeah. Sorry. Right. Right. God! He's back! Oh, now he's awake. <laughs> Listen, Team Skull is looking for a Pokemon called Cosmok. Do you two know anything? What?! Not that we tell you! So you do know something. Look, Cosmog isn't even a strong Pokemon, but it has the potential to summon Pokemon so terrifyingly strong that you don't even know. If something like that happened, it would be a disaster for Alola. Alola! Alola! <laughs> Break the fourth wall there, just Gladian does it. Alola. <laughs> <laughs> a disaster? Like, a real disaster? Then what are we supposed to do about it? Protect it. If you do know where Cosmog is, or if you do find anything out, just keep it safe. I know I might be working for Team Skull right now, so you may not trust me or care, but I'm going to tell you this just once. You have to protect Cosmog, no matter what. Save the Cosmog. Save the world. Yep. I still don't understand how Team Skull found out about Cosmog in the first place. Uh-oh. How? Oh, right. Sorry. What do you mean? No matter what? You're just gonna leave us hanging? <laughs> yep! Brownie... If they're really looking for Cosmog, then... Is Lily gonna be okay? I don't really get what's going on, but we've got to keep both of them safe, right? Then I know what I'm gonna do. Take on the next trial uh, uh, to train with my partner. <laughs> Look, I know Guzma was saying all those things, 
but I really want to com complete my island challenge and, and, and help people learn about Pokemon battling. Guzma. And, I don't know, I've got to make sure I really get what, what my partner's feeling, too. Is his name Shulk? <laughs> God dang it. I have no objection to that joke. Love you, too, Chris. Yeah, I love you, too. Mwah. Oh, it's a rock ruff. It's a walk -walk. Is that a, it's a, walk -walk. a sleeping rock -walk? Oh, it's a sleeping rock -walk. Oh, I want to see the walk -walk. Hold up. Oh. I want to I see the walk -walk. Oh! It's so cute. I want to die. It's so fluffy. Hey, a moonstone. That's nice. Wait, duct a duct trio? Wait, hold on. Can we talk to the duct... <laughs> Dog Trio apparently goes Riska. <laughs> All right. Now I don't think we can actually go into the desert yet, which is annoying because we have to do the ghost trial. I think before we can go through. I think. Let's check. Riska. It look. Oh. It looks like the Three Stooges. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't picture that when I first saw them. All right. Well, we're basically here, so let's check out the. Oh, is the rain. Oh, there's... Wait, how? Wait, hold on. The Pokemon League entrance is... Open? Wait, what? Already? There's no, eh? there's no builders. That's weird. Normally, there are people blocking this place off. Whoa. Huh. Huh. Oh no! What? It's what? hey, it's it's the Ultra Recon Squad. And ah! I, uh, and hello that to you. Okay, I actually quite like these guys. They're actually I love these guys. So I still don't know the I still don't know the names of the of the ones in my game. And play. <laughs> so this hey, is Tapu. I'm I'm, tra I'm trying. <laughs> so this is Tapu Village. We will need to investigate it quite thoroughly. According to the records we have left to us, it seems that this is when Necrozma battled against the Tapu when it came to Alola. Alola! Long ago. Alola! <laughs> Hungering for its light. That's gonna be a thing, it isn't it? It may be the case that the power which came pouring out of the Ultra Wormhole at that time is what changes Pokemon's regular moves into Z moves. Such theories have been suggested. Wait, are you telling me the Ultra Beasts are responsible for Z moves? Dang, boy. The fuck? Our ancestors were greedy, and they sought to control all of Necrozma's light. But what was the result of all that? They only hurt Necrozma, making it lose a part of itself and causing it to run wild and steal all the light it could find. Oh, it's a walking battery! I see. That's why we have Necrozma cooped up in the Megalo Tower our great ancestors built. It contains Necrozma in its rage. Uh, should that be a good thing? But that facility has reached its limit, and the Cosma hungers for light. Hmm. That is why we came to Alola in hopes of finding a new method to defeat the Cosma. Yet, it seems it would be a difficult mission for us, who also so new to Pokemon battling, to ever hope to defeat the Cosma. Oh, they're new here! <laughs> Aww. Okay, you know what? The Ultra Recon Squad are actually pretty nice. I like these guys. Oh. <laughs> How with the best line ever? I don't really get what that was about. It seems like those. But hold, but hold up, why were they in the intro then? Hmm. Maybe to do with Cosmog. Maybe. Who knows? But yeah, there's there's nothing stopping you. That's oh, weird. never mind. What? The builders are hogging around the left area, but there's a grass area you can actually search. Well, that's nice. Really? What's here? Snow run! <laughs> Snow run? You can get ice type Pokemon! You can get ice type Pokemon! Yay! I can finally get my ice badge on Pokemon Go! I mean, I still need it. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. So, Snow run being a, is a ice type. Don't use power gem. You know, just for random lulls, I'll do this. 
Dumb bucket. I think that was a bad move on my end. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> what did Cotlow do to you? I, did, I didn't do that. Oh, my. No. Oh, no. Okay. We found out what Snowrun's ability is. Snowrun's ab ability is Ice Body. Instead of getting hurt in hail, he recovers hit points in it. Well, that's clever. Get a Vulpix. Catch the... Catch the Pokemon. Yeah, I'm after the, I'm after the snow run, and I'm after the Alolan Vulpix. Is can you get Vul is can you get Vulpix and Sandshrew here? It's a good question to see if you get them in this area. I know you can get them in the village. I don't know about this area. Didn't even know you could actually catch things in this area. Snow run. Buff buffeted. Buffeted. Zap. Buffeted. <laughs> buffeted. Buffeted. Wait, are you buffering, Del? No, I'm not. Oh, sorry. I oh, thought you so were. I... Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. What? Snow run? Yeah, it's so cute. Snow run, run, snow. Can you get two for me? What? Two Vulpix? I told you right now, I'm just more about collecting rather than just doing much about right now. I'm just trying to get through the game, and I'd rather find what I can get and have that. That's basically how I'm rolling with this. Good charger. Well done, charger. And we got ourselves our beloved little snow rent. Snow. This actually might be good for you if you ever come across an ice type Pokemon that you want to catch. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, snow runt, the snow hat Pokemon. It feeds mainly on ice and snow. It is only able to survive in a limited number of places in the warm Alola region. Now, hold Aww. on. Is, oh, wait, hold on. Is this a male or a female? I didn't pay attention to its gender. Oh, it's a male! Oh! You wanted to get the frost last, didn't you? Yes, yes, that's exactly why. Okay, you know what? Let's have a look at one more thing around here. Let's have a look and see what else is here. Snow runt again! <laughs> Come on, if it's a female, we might have to play dice with it. No, it's a male. Okay, you get to live. <laughs> you know too much. <laughs> Good day, guys. This I thought I was told this was a Hasbro truck coming in smaller Hasbro trucks. You know too much. <laughs> Absol! Absolutely! Damn it, you nicked my joke! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Shugo responds to a joke, it seems. Okay, so Absol, <laughs> one thing to know about this. It's speedy, it's powerful. But it's a damn freaking fragile tank. Uh, RG, why do they keep making Pokemon games? I don't know. Why is the sky blue? They just, it's just there. Oh, it's a boy. So Abby wouldn't be a good name for this Absol. No, but it's worth an idea. Oh, well, shoot. It could, well, it could, well, it could, well, it could be, but I, but I don't know. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think Abby's a gender neutral name. I mean, I've seen a character, a male character named Abby in a comic. Hey guys, comic I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good question. Why is the sky blue? Uh, well, it just is. By the way, I love how double team it raises evasiveness. It still can't dodge a Pokeball. So by logical standing, if you can throw the ball and actually catch the Pokemon still, why can your Pokemon still miss it? I don't know. It's also like that. It's also like that well-known proverb: Why do hot dog buns come in packs of ten, but sausages come in packs of twelve? What? Oh wait, no, packets of eight. Damn it, I've messed it up. Oh well, hot. Wait, hot is it the uh, hot dog buns come in packs of eight, and the sausages come in packs of ten? You know what I mean. Buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. How do you know us? How do you know our nursery rhyme? <laughs> Because it was a nursery rhyme here, too. That is true. Stop hailing. Uh, hey, oh, no, 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 no. I nearly, I nearly. Champion battle. Good luck, Hannah. One, two, three. Good Absol. Woo! Who's a good Absol? This is a good Absol. Who loves Absol? Uh, I love Absol. Yeah, Absol is actually a really good Pokemon. Its Mega Revolution actually is really dangerous. Yeah. Plus, uh, I generally I, admit, I love I love Absol. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. 
don't know. For me, it really depends on what Pokemon to keep in my party. That's true. Anyway, Absol, the disaster Pokemon. The only thing unlucky about Absol is its appearance. Mm -hmm. It protects fields and warns people of disaster, so one ought to be grateful for it. Oh, look at Absol there! That's actually quite majestic. Oh, to move on to a new generation. That is true. And hey, we got the one coming to the Switch soon. If that's different, he's absolutely got it. Hey, we got Dirks again. Hey, Macarena. Oh my god, Absol has super luck. Nice. Ooh, Absol. Uh, so, super luck is a move that doubles the chance of a critical hit. So, I'd like to point out if you have Absol with a scope lens and you use Slash or Night Slash. You are doing a critical hit about 60% of the time. Nice. All right, so let's go into the Pokemon Center before I lose track. Uh, okay, I guess I got a battle with someone. Uh, oh! Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's see what this guy can do. All right, so we got a veteran here. Hi, veteran. Hey, we're up against Angus. What have you got? Shellgon! Oh, you're bringing out the dragon types! Now I'm... Now I'm... I kinda wish I actually brought... I kinda wish I, uh... I kinda wish I had that test uh oh Charger! No dying! No dying! You should have gone into the Pokemon Center first. Well, I'm sorry. It's like I, it's like I knew a battle was here. Fine, heal up. Welcome back, Hannah. All right. What, oh. what you think was gonna happen? I don't know. I got given candy. All right. Well, let's see. You're paralyzed, so let's power gem you instead because we can't thunder you because you're, uh, you're a dragon type. We can't do much against dragon type. Dwagon type. A dwagon. Guess what? It's a wet eyes black dwagon. It... Even though it's not black. Ouch! That's a Brooklyn Rage! Oh, it's got rock head! Oh, boy. What does that do? Uh, prevents it from being hit by recoil damage. And it's got a kabite! You are really what? pushing luck here, aren't you, buddy? Fine. Mm -hmm. You want to dance? Fine. Oh, I can wow, play this, this game, too. Yeah, this guy's smart. Come on, Lucha. Go on. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Yes, I thought so. He was going for Earthquake. Flying press. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, that backfired. Uh-oh. Bat. Bat. Dad. Bad, little bad, bad. Fine, break, break you. I know you got rough skin. I don't care. Just knock you down. I hate rough skin so much. Rough skin. Gonna do physical damage to it, and it hurts you back. Of course. He's, um, a, um, he's, um. A, pure, he's a pure dragon user. And he's using Slagoo. Slagoo. Yes, the evolved form of little Gumi. Apparently, Gumi's like the most popular dragon Pokemon ever. Uh, yeah, because uh, ironically, it's one of the few dragon types that has an amazing special defense stat. Says really? the fact, yeah. Look, I mean, take a look when you load up. I'd like to point out Primarina is a special attack monster. And it does Sludge Bomb! It also looks cute. Actually, what am I doing? Is he Lance? He might as well be. Ugh, we're doing barely anything to this thing. Ow! Yeah, use a physical de use a physical hit if it's got high special defense. Might have to. Uh, okay, fine. Popstar, come back. Let's do this, sneaker. So you're gonna go for Sludge Bomb again, aren't you? Thunderbolts. Jesus, this guy could have gone straight for that, but no. Not very smart, are you? Fine, this life. Is, is he Lance? He might as well be. 
<laughs> doesn't look. He doesn't doesn't look like Lance. Uh oh. This is why I hate Sluggers. But yes, yeah, so, so bring it in your collection, Del. Uh, Sluggoo is basically a special defense monster. If you get one in your team, he is essentially one of the few dragon types who could actually survive a good ice attack. Oh boy. But that makes up for having very bad physical defense. So if you have a physical defense, you have yourself a good option there. So just take your pick. Right. Fine. Pop star, let's try this again. Yay! Could have been left Lund. after his prime. Uh, his name's Angus. Could have been. Saved Angus. Fine. Pop star, disarming voice. I really wish you had pixelate. I would love if this thing had pixelate instead. There we go. Oh, Pops out of 39. All that's left is shell gone. Yep. I didn't realize there was such a big difference between us and how many trainers we battled. Yeah. Lol. Lol. Everything will... <sighs> Choice specs. Choice specs. <gasps> oh, Choice specs. Choice Specs is one of the most competitive items you will ever find. What happens is when you have a Pokemon with Choice Specs, uh, when you have a Pokemon and you equip Choice Specs to it, whatever move it uses first, it is permanently locked in as long as the Pokemon is out or until you switch. But all of their special attack stats uh, for Choice Specs, special attacks go up by 50%. Yes. So if you think what Espeon is like, think that even more. Yep. Well, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that the Ghost tri Trials totem, totem is not gonna be a Mimikyu. Well, so far we've seen changes galore, so I wouldn't be surprised. The only one who hasn't changed so far is Gumshoes. Gumshoes or rat or eradicated yep. if it were my. Yep, your game, I forgot. But anyway, guys, I'm afraid to say, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for tonight's live stream. Aww! I know, I know. We could technically do it, but and I saw on the map there's a little bit further to go. But, you know, what can you say? Uh, right. Damn, Blade, it's a nice trade-off, especially with that kind of power. Yes. The choice... So, just to clarify, there are three choice items in the game. You have the choice band, the choice scarf, and the choice specs. The yeah. yeah, all of them do exactly the same thing. They lock you into one move when you do them. But what happens is choice band increases your physical strength of a move by 50%. Choice scarf increases your speed by 50%. So there's a chance you'll get in the first strike. Or there's choice specs for your special attack. <coughs> I do reckon, like I'll be honest, I'm not particularly fond of them. I like to have at least one Pokemon holding at least one choice item when I do competitive. But I like to have other moves, that, uh, have items that not many people expect. I mean, it's wrong, and I know it doesn't get me to win much, but eh, my team, my rules. That's how it works. But yes, Sky it's... uppercut. What are you? Are you actually playing, Del? Well, no, uh, no, no. I'm just saying, Sky uppercut. <laughs> Fair enough then. All right, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for tonight's live stream. So. Tomorrow, on YouTube and Twitch, we will be having MMM. That is our Massive Monday Multiplayer. And, mm -hmm. we'll be and for our first session, we'll be doing a multiplayer classic. We will be doing a little bit of Diggy Diggy Hall with Minecraft. I thought you were going to say Dig Dug. No, not Dig Dug. No, but we're doing some Minecraft, but I will have a team on standby, but we're not doing like a traditional Minecraft gameplay. We're going to be doing something a little bit different. Is it going to be story mode? Uh, no, no, not the Telltale game, even though that's really good. You'll have to see us tomorrow and see exactly what all the hubba bubba -bub -bub is about. I'll, I'll take, I'll take a glance. I'll take a glance. Del will take a glance. Will you guys? But otherwise, guys... That is all for tonight's live stream. I hope you guys have had a fantastic time. And if you've generally enjoyed what you've seen there, spread the joy. And don't forget, you can follow us. Uh, Diana is asking what time does the stream start. If you go back one hour from this point, that's what time we're starting it. 
So essentially, eight o'clock UK time for GMT. Otherwise, uh, just go back an hour uh, and go 24 hours from there. So 23 hours from now, if you really want to be quite technical. But there you go. Uh, and in case you wondered, we're doing the Minecraft on the PS4 version because that's our way we can get both to stream on there for our sake of things and stuff like that. There. Now, I will say this. It's been a while since I have done Minecraft, but it's an idea we had planned in the works for quite some time. And we're going to hopefully make things work there. Now, remember, guys, if you're new to our channel, be sure and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Oh, wait, I have to do it properly. So, guys, before we, ca before we end this up, Let's go through our important questions. First of all, Hannah, congratulations on beating the champion in the game. Congratulations. You just beat all the Let's see some there. Let's see some hashtags there. Get some hashtags. See, congratulations. Hashtag congrats. Ha hashtag congrats. Yes, indeed. But otherwise, guys, uh, our big questions we have to ask are, what dangers will await us while we're here? Is the ghost trial going to give us a spooky encounter or are we gonna stand no ghost of a chance <laughs> and also will we ever discover who this episode's mvp is you are right i almost forgot we completely forgot to mvp thank you del <laughs> i completely You're welcome. forgot all right so ladies and gentlemen if you're new to our channel one thing before we wrap this up we have to decide on who our Pokemon MVP of the session is. So, for those who are new here, every single Pokemon session, we try to determine which of our team of six have done the best for their reasons. So, our candidates, in case anyone knows, we have Charger, the Ampharos, Sneaker, the Salazzle, Lucha, the Halucha, Lunchable, the Snorlax, Wishful, the Espeon, and Popstar, the Primarina. So... Let's see what you guys all suspect there. And remember, I want to hear reasons. So, your votes matter as well, guys, in the chat. So, if you have a Pokemon of our six who did the best, let me know in your comments what you thought and why. So, Del, while you're here, who is your Pokemon MVP and why? Oof. It's a toss-up between Ampharos, and, between Charger and Lunchable, actually. Really? Why those two? Well, because of the well, because of the electric tr trial. I mean, Snorlax did pretty pretty awesome on on his own for a while, and Ampharos well was fight, fighting the best it, that they could, and he and he was tough, and he toughed it out the, the, the all the way. I mean, even it, it toughed it out when it had one health. Like, dang boy, that was the most epic battle I'd ever seen. That is true. That is true. That is and a very valid point. Yeah, and then the Snorlax with the pulverizing pancake finisher. Unlimited pancake. Unlimited golden brownie pancakes for the win. Yay! But what about you guys in the chat? You know, here's live on Twitch. Uh, Kotlo says Snorlax. So Kotlo likes Snorlax. Uh, what's your reason, Kotlo? <laughs> Great reason. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. I, I don't know. I know, I know. But uh, epic finisher. That's Cotlow's reason. That's fair uh, enough. Sure. I hope Shugo gets back soon. Oh, okay. Well, Hannah also says Snorlax. Why, why Snorlax, Hannah? What's your reason for it? Well, while we're waiting on reasons and things, uh, Deanne says Lunchable Infinite Pancakes. It is a clear unanimous vote in the chat. Oh, meow. So, in fairness, I would actually have to agree on that. Hannah says just because he's strong. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> But I would absolutely have to agree there. Lunchable definitely did the job. He had bulldozed and he was doing his best. Uh, the only downside, though, was he didn't do too great involving the Skarmory, which means I will have to work on some diverse moveset for Lunchable in order so he can actually tackle the stronger opponents. Roy. But, ladies and gentlemen, our candidate, our lucky winner is... 
Lunchable the Snorlax! A round, of, a round of applause for Lunchable, ladies and gentlemen. Lunchable, I take a bow. Woo! So he jumps in the air for joy instead. He's charged with joy, that's why. There you go, yes, that's the way it is. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, Snorlax has taken our MVP for episode 8. So, tune in next Sunday when episode 9 shall take place and we're going to take our chance with the ghost trial. What dangers shall await us? Will we be able to succeed? Will this be our end? You never know. Could be me giving up this thing and we take it from there. Hope you guys have had an absolute blast. If you want to keep... Uh, we will have a ghost of a time. Hey! Well, guess what? It'll be, a ghost, it'll be a ghost coming out of our shell. Very funny. I love you too. Mwah. Yeah. But anyway, it's guys, that, let's see what happens on the... So anyway, before ghost we... Women. So anyway, before we wrap this up, next Sunday, we will be back to Pokemon Ultra Sun. Hopefully, we'll have our team fully in check. Not just our Pokemon, but our stream team live in check. And we'll see how things go from there. So... If you were trying to enjoy it with the, if you were trying to enjoy it with this episode, be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, and be sure to click follow and everything else on our Twitter, our Twitch, and everywhere else in between. Keep up to date. We also have a Discord server. Feel free to come by and join us. We're on there pretty much most days, so check us out. But otherwise, guys, it's goodbye from Delancey. Boy, everybody. It's goodbye from Shugo. Boy, uh, Caitlin. Wait, Caitlin's here. Yeah, she just Shit. She, she just popped in. Caitlin, I missed it, did I? You just yeah. missed it. Yep. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Shit. It's all right. In fact, uh, you'll be happy to know, Caitlin. Uh, next episode, we're going to tackle uh, the ghost trial. Oh wow! I didn't miss that. For yeah, but you'll it. be happy to know our MVP is Lunchable the Snorlax, Caitlin. How does that make me happy? Well, because the fact of uh, the runner-up is Ampharos. Mate, if I was here, Ampharos. My, my, my mom's on Ampharos. Can we change the MVP? Where are my mom? No, well, no, no. You just, Caitlin, you just missed an epic battle. It's true, because uh, the electric trial was actually very challenging this time. Oh, fuck. Yeah, well, let's put it this way. Lunchable did the best there, and if it wasn't for having it knowing Bulldoze, we wouldn't have got anywhere. What were you facing? Uh, Togedemaru was the totem, but it also had Dedene and the Skarmory. Why fucking Skarmory? Because the Skarmory knew Stealth Rock, Tailwind, and Torment. <laughs> oh, fuck. But, but well, yeah, but my MVP, even though I don't know what Ampharos has done, my MVP is Ampharos. Well, in fairness, Ampharos was the one who took down the Skarmory. Uh, no, Scar and, Skarmory. And he, was, and he was a trooper. Yeah, took down the Skarmory and the Dedene because Snorlax was having a lot of hard time with them by doing the damage and things like that. So if it wasn't for uh, Charger doing that, so Skarmory does get honorable mention as a definite thing, but we will try the, to the make... Skarmory. Skarmory. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Caitlin, do you want to say any farewell words to the audience? I'm Ferris, best Pokemon, 10 out of 10. Fair. You're also named after Houndoom, by the way. No, <laughs> you weren't supposed to pick that up! Sorry. Oh, wait, I'm named after Houndoom? You'll see in the next, you'll see if you join in for the next one. Oh, fucking sweet. Yes, I found a, I knew Houndoom was in this area. We found a female Houndoom, and Cotlol suggested as a random joke, why don't we name it, why don't we name it as, uh, as Caitlyn? For the sake of the hot-headedness of a of Sorry. a houndoom, so you. Sorry. Sorry, Chris. No, it's fine. It's supposed <laughs> to be a surprise because I'll admit I was tempted to put houndoom in place of salazzle. Oh, sweet. <laughs> so let's see how things go as we get there, and now fully now we are fully done. So keep up to check and everything else, but Caitlin. It's yeah. nice having you for the brief five minutes. <laughs> I know, right? I, I, I'm just so amazing. <laughs> yeah. What were you busy with, if you don't mind my asking? 
I was with my um I, I was I was with my parents. Says it all. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's perfectly fine. I didn't actually know. But anyway, guys, this is Brownie of the Joy Charge Gamers signing off on Let's Play Live Pokemon Ultra Sun on Nintendo 3DS. Stay charged and catch you all later. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. Bye. -bye. Have a nice day, everybody. Also, remember, tomorrow, MMM is going up on YouTube and Twitch. Keep your eyes peeled, and I'll see you there. Ciao! Bye-bye, okay, boy.